Hey you guys, just really, really quick. I am in Pisco. It's early morning, Lucy's behind me. I'm about to pack the bike and head to San Juan de Marcona. I'm not gonna see the start today, just to finish because I just, I just couldn't make it. <laughs> it is so, so, so exhausting, but so, 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 so awesome at the same time. I think I found, I was struggling to find the right words to describe the bivouac. I think I found them. It's like traveling with a caravan, with a bedroom caravan that has Mad Max vehicles. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's absolutely amazing to be here. I'm gonna try to do more lives. We're not lives, I'm not sure I'm allowed. Uh, but just videos from the bivouac. The problem is my microphone is not working and the noise is just so bad that I'm not sure how to record it best, but I'll try. I'm so, so unprepared for this. <laughs> but, <coughs> sorry, um, but I'm just doing my best. So. Pack bike, go chase the Dakar. Today, I've posted an update on ADP Rider. I uh, got some video riding with the Dakar riders from Lima, from start, uh, start in Lima. They did the liaison stage yesterday and a short desert stage. Everybody finished okay. And it was kind of cool to talk to them after the race because a lot of them said that yesterday, you know, leaving Lima at 5.30 in the morning, a lot of them felt like really on edge and really like so much pressure and just stressing out because it is the Dakar, right? And then after actually doing Laysan, which was on the Pan American Highway, and then doing the short stage in the dunes, um, that it felt really good. That once you start, once you get going, you get going, and the nerves kind of, you know, they feel a lot better now. A lot of them said they actually had a lot of fun because the dunes were kind of nice and, and easy enough. and. Um, so they all feel pretty great. Today was a very early start. I think they all already left, and today is 500 and something kilometers. I think liaison is half of that, or or maybe 200 kilometers, something like that. I'm gonna try to catch up with them in San Juan de Marcona. I'm also gonna try to just camp in the bivouac because I don't wanna leave. <laughs> and, uh, and that would just be... Um, just even more stories and photos and videos and stuff like that. Um, a lot of Mali motor riders said that they expect today to be pretty difficult because uh, the cars start first. So a lot of them said, you know, the the route is going to be all destroyed and, and, and um, by the cars, so it's going to be a lot harder. Um, so today the real tough stuff begins and I'm gonna chase it and I'm gonna let you know what happens and I will see you in San Juan de Marcona.